the definition of post-traumatic growth. Post-traumatic growth is the experience of positive change as a result of the struggle with a major life crisis reported by people who have experienced a wide range of events, including cancer, combat, HIV, AIDS, natural disasters, sexual assault, and of course, under that umbrella where post-traumatic growth is found, there's also people that have had a breakup or who were going through a divorce. And we're going to be getting to a lot more examples when we get deeper into this course. But just know that post-traumatic growth is the experience of positive change as a result of a major crisis. And it happens very frequently. Now, I want to mention two gentlemen that have spent combined over 30 years researching post-traumatic growth. One is Dr. Lawrence Kalum. He's the co-author and co-editor of nine books, including Post-Traumatic Growth in Clinical Practice. And he's done massive amounts of research with Dr. Richard Tedeschi, who has also been massively influential in the study of post-traumatic growth. Now, what these two guys have found is that through the course of all these studies, through people that have suffered um, and experienced tsunamis, uh, hurricanes, the uh, surviving 9-11 attacks, um, you know, kids in Japan that have failed math results, uh, all kinds of varying situations where post-traumatic growth has occurred. And there's five things that come to the surface with people that have experienced post-traumatic growth. And what those five things are, are this. One is changed relationships with other persons. So in other words, people feel like a sense of closeness with others, far more closer than they were before. Another is new possibilities. So in other words, loss can open up the possibility of new relationships. So the vacancy produced in the bereaved person's life allows for new people to enter. Third was existential or spiritual religious elements. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that they find God or, or become more religious, but they find that their life has a, has a deeper connection to something more transcendent. Another commonality was a new appreciation for life. You know, in living life more vividly may be difficult for some people to sustain, but it is sometimes consolidated into new habits of living more deliberately rather than routinely. And fifth, and I think this is the most important, is self-concept. In other words, people who have experienced post-traumatic growth, they feel more vulnerable yet stronger. So the experience of loss can also lead many persons to experience themselves as stronger and more self-confident. But along with the difficult and negative aspects, there is the assumption that simply surviving the worst that I know makes them realize that they're much stronger than they ever thought that they were. And those are the five commonalities in post-traumatic growth. And we'll get into what you can do to be able to get yourself closer to experience even some of that in the next video.